Hey science lovers, it's Becky with Lab Ride Academy and it was just Christmas and my nieces and nephews had some really cool toys that kind of popped my mind in terms of how much science we can find in even simple toys like this. And this little tube was making some fun sounds. It made me think about the science behind the sound waves that are in this tube right here because when you expand this tube, it makes some fun sounds like this. What I see happening is that this tube, as it gets bigger, it makes a different kind of sound. So let's do that again. Think about what happens. It gets deeper in its sound, and when I shorten it, it makes a higher sound, which means that there's a column of air inside of this, and the longer that the column of air is, the deeper the sound gets. And the shorter the column of air, the higher it gets. And I thought about how does that relate to me? My voice has a column of air inside of it, it looks just like that, which is like a larynx, where it has these tubes running around it of cartilage, but I can make a specific sound with my voice. And most women have a high-pitched sound because our tubes are smaller, but when I bring in my husband, who is a man, he has a different sound. Come over here. How would you talk to these guys? Hi. You can see that his voice, say it again. Hello. Is much deeper than mine, and that's because of the shape of our tubes that are in our throat. Thank you. Now, if we go a little bit deeper, we think about mass. So mass, the bigger the mass, the deeper the sound. The smaller the mass, the higher the pitch. So I have two small sticks that I found in my backyard. I'm gonna slap them together. We'll see what they sound like. So that's a high pitch sound. Let's get two by fours that are bigger. And you can see that the bigger mass has a deeper sound. Wow, science is so amazing. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. God bless you. Bye-bye.